How's it going everybody and welcome to another video of the Zen Palace of Healing with yours truly Javier and this time I'm gonna give you a little guidance on how to meditate using the moon cycle so without much to say let's get started so I just want to put an objectives slide to show you what this is gonna be about and prepare you what we're gonna be chatting and it's going to include the influences of the moon and the human body and believe it or not they do they do exist and we're going to talk about the ancient perspectives and the modern scientific findings the myths and fact about the moon influence on our bodies and how the moon can affect the subtle mind and the subtle mind is analogous to what in naturopathic medicine we call the vital force which i'm going to talk about later so I just want to clarify that the moon phases have influenced ancient, ancient traditions for a very long time. And that's why we have all sorts of lunar calendars. And we can see that in Islamic, Chinese, Korean, Greek, Roman, and many, many other um, calendars too. And a lunar calendar is about 29 to 38, 30 days for each month. And just to show you that modern society is influenced by the full moon is this calendar from Korea that is uh, showing the major holidays. And every year the holidays change because there's about 11 days less compared to a solar calendar. So phases of the moon. Very briefly, a quick introduction to how to look at the moon phases is that today is the day of the new moon october 19 2017 and it's going to be right here so from the new moon it's going to go through this waxing phase where it's going to get lighter and lighter and it's going to reach this full moon on 15 days later and then from the full moon it's going to go through this waning stage and go back again to the new moon so very straightforward very cyclical in this way so some folklore associations with the moon phases. So here's the thing, the new moon, and this is to some extent relatable to most traditions, but definitely not all traditions do admit this or do say that this is what happens. But usually in the new moon phases, it's tend to be more associated with negative energies because it's a darker time. So darker is usually associated with evil or bad things or the dark the dark side of things but the full moon is the complete opposite so it's more of a positive energy time for new changes beings are more influenced by this positive energy but again this is not giving justice at all to the major or um, calendars and traditions that do have this changes in the moon cycle so here are some fun facts of the moon influence on the human body many people have asked does the full moon affect people's behavior more than any other day well the research says no it doesn't does the full does the moon cycle correlate with certain mental disorders and this has been asked many times more than other days the research says no, however, it's not an absolute no because the moon cycle does influence those sensitive to sleep changes and that includes people with bipolar mania and temporal lobe seizures. Now, these people tend to be very, very sensitive to sleep disturbances and, we, and the research has shown that the moon can affect our overall sleep. And this is how. That what the research says so uh, at the end of the slide there are some references to show you to back this up but these are the three major findings that i was i can share with you about the influences of our sleep and the moon cycle so basically our REM sleep so our ability to be asleep rapid eye movement and have dreams and get a better sleep is actually decreased during the full moon compared to the other days of the moon 
Melatonin is also secreted less during full moon. And melatonin is this uh, hormone that is secreted after the sunset. So your body is getting rested and it's getting ready to sleep. But in the full moon, it is less secreted. And it also could be because there's more light outside. Perhaps the body isn't registering that much. But again, that's just one of my thoughts on this. And it also has been shown loss of sleep and REM is more common in men than women during the days of the full moon. Which is kind of in contrast of what the moon energy is uh, supposed to be more associated with the feminine energy. But here we're seeing that men tend to be more susceptible to the changes of the full moon or the moon phases in general. So quickly, why follow the moon cycle? Because it's one of the easiest ways to practice self-awareness of the body in relation to the environment. So practice in meditation. And we're not using any abstract ideas because this is outside. We look at the sky and we remind ourselves, here's the moon, it's time to meditate. And we create this relationship with something outside of us, but it's also real. We're not focusing on an imaginative object. Instead, we're using our outside resources to do what we have to do. I don't want to get too much involved into this topic because it takes, it can take up to an hour to explain what the subtle mind is in the phases of the moon. And which is why I do plan to have a course and a class on teaching these specifics. So you can be aware of the different stages of the vital force during the full moon and during the days before the full moon and after the full moon, including the new moon too, because it's a cycle. And in men and women, they, this travels differently because in Tantra, which is where this uh, concept comes from, men and women have different subtle bodies or different pathways to this vital force. But what you need to know right now is that the vital force during the new moon today and during the full moon, which will be 15 days later, is all throughout the body. So that means that to have a, an adequate moon day and to do, to have a, to enjoy the moon day, let's put it that way, is to avoid activities that are going to injure your body so your vital force is not leaking, like quote unquote. Eat light meals, work enough, but don't overdo it, and meditate at the moon rise. And I'm going to be guiding this meditation at 6.26 p.m. So the video that you'll see next is going to be in reference to that time and I'll be outside um, doing that meditation. But anytime after this uh, moon, moonrise, it's good to do the meditation. So it doesn't matter if it's 10 p.m. right now or 8 p.m. or 11 or 12 p.m. that you're seeing this or 12 a.m. in that case. It's still effective and the moon is still on the sky, even though it's new, so you may not be able to see everything or anything at all. And here I'm just giving you the references. So if you want to check out more information about the lunar cycles and influences on us, please feel free to do that. So we'll see you at the meditation and thank you for watching this. See you soon. How's it going everybody? This is Javier and I'm right outside the beach right here. And what I'm going to do is guide you through a short meditation, about five minutes or so, of the new moon. As you can see right now, the tides are low and the moon is nowhere to be seen. And it's very well hidden. So what is it that you want to take out of this simple guided practice? Is that I just want you to take a look inside of yourself. Just as the moon is literally nowhere to be found, 
I also want you to look inside of you and find that which cannot be seen. Just go inside of your being, inside of your mind, inside of your heart, and see those things that are hidden inside of you. What is it that's hidden? And just take a look at that. If you find it, stay with it. If you are not finding anything, then stay conscious, stay present. And whatever comes in, just take it with a light of salt. If you're noticing that repressed emotions or repressed feelings are coming, just look at them as if they were part of a movie and dissociate yourself from them. Watch it like as if you're watching a movie and center yourself. If you're noticing too many thoughts are going, or they're happening, also center yourself. See those thoughts as if you're watching a film, a TV show. And don't invest your energies and emotions in them. But that is the time of the new moon. The new moon, as we saw in the presentation, was about the dark forces, the negative side. However, I do not want to say that it's an evil time. Because in my perspective and experience, there's not such thing as good, as good and evil. It's just a play. It's a game of energies. No one's free of evil, no one's free of good. Those are two energies that we gotta be able to work with. And right now, with the new moon, it's a theme of depth. It's a time of hidden things. So remain conscious for the rest of the video.